Hey everybody. Hi. Hi. Where are we going, girls? California. Why? Because we're going to Universal, Universal then on a cruise. cruise. Going on a cruise. Woo! Mm -hmm. All right. Check out later. Bye. Bye. Hello everybody, we are over here at the gas station because uh, we're getting ready to go on a road trip. Yep, that's right, we are going to go on another cruise. This time we are going to be uh, going on the Carnival Radiance for the girls' spring break. And uh, we are headed to Long Beach. Actually, no, we're headed to Torrance, California because we're going to be staying there. Um, and then we're going to be going to Universal Studios tomorrow. It'll be the girl's first time to Universal Studios. And I think actually Courtney's first time to Universal Studios over here. So yeah, we're gonna be looking forward to hitting Harry Potter and um, Super Nintendo World. So that is gonna be on the agenda. But right now, that's gonna be the four and a half hour drive to California. We'll be checking in while we drive. <laughs> All right, so we've decided to stop at Eddie World uh, to grab some snacks and maybe a little bathroom break. Much needed, it's been uh, about two and a half hours so far driving from Las Vegas. So yeah, so we're gonna stop over here, get something to snack on, and then get on the road again. We wanna hopefully get to the hotel uh, in a timely fashion and uh, get them some dinner later. All right, we're getting ready to check out. Hello everybody, we are over at the Courtyard Marriott in Torrance, California. We've just checked in and uh, yeah, we're starving. So we're gonna go down to the Bistro Bar downstairs at the lobby and uh, get something hopefully delicious to eat. It has been a crazy day with uh, lots of traffic and lots of driving. So here we go down to get some grub. All right, so change of plans. We are actually going to get in the car and look for something else to eat. Probably some fast food or something like that. I'm not sure yet. Mainly because eh, we weren't too impressed by the menu. It's so expensive. It's pretty standard fare, but pretty, uh, pretty pricey. So we'll see. There's a bunch of different restaurants uh, down the way here. So maybe we'll check something else out and have that. All right, so um, we have found ourselves at Black Angus. Now, we haven't been to Black Angus in probably 15 years. Uh, there was a Black Angus in Henderson that we used to go to, but it closed. And I don't think there's any other Black Angus located in Las Vegas. So this was about a mile away from the hotel. 
And here we are, ready to try some steak, I guess. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, so like I was saying, um, we haven't been to Black Angus in about 15 years. And, uh, yep, we just decided to give it a try. It's over on Carson Street. It seems to be near a mall here. And, yep, I don't even know what I'll have. It's been so long, I don't even know what I'll have. So, I'll take a look at the menu. It's going to be about a 20-minute wait. 20 minutes later. Thank you so much. All right, so we just ordered. Um, Courtney and I are doing the campfire feast, which allows you to order an appetizer to share. Each have an entree, and then each get two um, sides each, and then a dessert to share um, for about $69. So it seemed like a really good deal uh, for the amount of food that we we're gonna get. Might pro it'll actually probably be too much food, but that's okay. You know, we're on vacation, so it's okay. And then Emily ordered a mac and cheese and french fries, of course, she went for the mac and cheese. And then Lily, a girl after my own heart, got the top sirloin steak. Uh, um, what did we order for our appetizer? We ordered the crab and potato cake. Crab and potato cake. And then I ordered the New York strip. Uh, Courtney ordered the top sirloin. Uh, ordered for the sides, I had a rice peel off and Courtney and I both got a garden salad. And then she also got, what was your other side? Oh, oh, gratin potatoes. And then Lily got french fries and the steak, and Emily got mac and cheese and french fries. And then milks. So yeah, so we'll see how uh, Black Angus is. Okay, so just finished eating. The crab and potato cake was pretty good, it was crunchy. More potato than crab, but overall had a good light crab flavor to it. it. Had a really nice crunch to it, so that was really good. And whatever sauce they put on it, it was like a pesto sauce or something like that on it, was um, flavorful. And then the steak itself, uh, Lily liked my New York steak. I think she preferred it over her top sirloin. Um, it was really uh, tender and then um, very salty and then the rice pilaf was okay wasn't my favorite side but I didn't want to just have french fries again so had the rice pilaf yep overall not a bad meal at Black Angus I would uh, don't know if I would come back again <laughs> but definitely um, was a good option for tonight after a long drive and being starving so it was a good Good option. I had mac and cheese with french fries and chocolate milk and also vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and sprinkles. Ooh. What did you think of the mac and cheese? Great. What did you say? You said you were expecting craft mac and cheese, but that but it was a surprise to see homemade mac, mac and cheese. Ooh. And so it was really surprising, but it was really good. Nice. I think you should really check that out. Check Black Angus for their mac and cheese. And also, I also tried a bit of Daddy's mac, 
daddy's steak, it was good, and Ate's steak, it was good, and also mommy's steak, which it was good. So you should try the steak and the mac and cheese. But if you're not a steak fan, but your parents force, force you to go, check out the mac and cheese. For sure. Um, the top sirloin. With? Uh, French fries and then light because if you're a kid that's under 12 and you get the your main meal um, aside and then you get one scoop of vanilla ice cream with your choice of chocolate or sprinkles. So you, you had a taste of the New York yes. steak? Yes. And you had the top sirloin. And which one did you prefer? Yours, which was the New York. Yeah, the New York. I thought you said like something. New else. York, like the <laughs> New city. New York. Okay, would you recommend Black Angus to other kids? Yes, because I, um, I also had Emily's mac and cheese because she got full. It was like a quarter. It was really good. I liked how it was like super cheesy, but it's not like Kraft mac and cheese. It's like white cheese, and there's a lot of like. You know how it's like a circle like this? Shells. There's a lot of cheese in it. Cool. All right. Would recommend. <laughs> Want to end the video here. Um, on our travel day, we ended the night over at Black Angus. And then we actually stopped by Target to pick up a couple things. We forgot to pack Emily sneakers. So uh, we went and made a quick stop at Target and bought some sneakers and some other miscellaneous things. Um, so yeah, so that pretty much ends the video. Um, Black Angus, you know, it's it's like Sizzler, where uh, just isn't as good as I remembered. <laughs> it was okay. The steak was super salty. Um, the crab and potato cake was more potato than crab, but nothing was bad. It didn't. It wasn't terrible food. It just was, you know, franchise steakhouse food. Um, but personally, I would probably go to uh, Outback or Claim Jumper or something like that over Black Angus. Um, so there's that. But it was it definitely filled the hole. Um, after a really long day of traveling, it was great to have something kind of hearty for dinner and uh, get to set up to sleep well tonight. And again, that wraps up the video for tonight. If you like this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, tell your friends and family about this video. And uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified of new videos on our channel. And as always, no matter where you find yourself on this journey called life, please take a moment, however brief, to take a closer look at life. Bye for now.